the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You can't just tell somebody this. Whoa, what? what? They got to be listening. They got to walk through it. can only be heard by a certain kind of person. Woo! And, 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 and I think we talk about the discipleship and developmental portion. I think when I mentioned the heart is going to change as we go. And even as I listen to our conversation right now, I'm, I'm saying there's some people can't receive what's being said because they haven't got to that point. Uh, Bishop said that uh, when he had gotten all those things that he had desired, then he realized there was something missing. Missing. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, I, and I have put the church on the right for a long time because I said we we're carnal minded and there's a body of believers who were just way off. And that wasn't true. The fact that the man is a body of believers as a culture in the United States of America, I think we were a body of believers who were growing because we had to attain a certain places to really realize that this ain't it. This ain't it. We can't look from afar off and never have an experience. In this with that. I, I, I'm, I'm not in California. No, you're not in California. Because you're in Georgia, you realize there ain't no water around us nowhere. So you know this ain't it. This ain't we it. Like so we got to the cardinal. A lot of us achieved those cardinal um, aspirations and then realized this ain't it. And, I, and what I saw, what I've experienced in Christendom as I, you know, going through it, is that a lot of pastors and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of church leadership hadn't gotten that cardinal experience. They had never been satisfied cardinally. And some of them just got totally distracted and, and sought after them to, to death. But some of them had to get to a point where they realized this ain't it. Yes, sir. I done preached this, I done taught this, I done, I done propagated this, I done told it, but now it's a lie. And that's one of the things that, that happened to me was that I realized the gospel that I was preaching wasn't the gospel. Wow. And I backed away from the, the, the congregation that I was a part of because the gospel that I was preaching was the gospel that they handed me. Yeah. And yeah. I realized that this ain't it. <laughs> there is something yeah. missing here. Yes, and sir. And I need to get away from this and find out what the truth is. And that's when I started the next quest, which is been probably now for us. It's been over. So my wife's passing, I think, kind of like single, single, the signal of the beginning of that true church. Yeah. Because I realized that, you know what was really funny? Is that that marriage was like a pillar in my life as far as reality and foundation was concerned. When that pillar was moved, the whole building shifted the rock. Foundation like, was man, there. Like, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was built on that relationship, I, I, more so than on the relationship that I had with Christ. Right. It was built on a relationship that I had with my wife. That was my real, my reality. That was my solid base. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. And when that was moved, I realized there was something yet missing. You know, there was, I wasn't whole yet. You, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yes, there was sir. There was something missing. And that's when the quest for the Christ and to understand who he really is, God who, who he is, got more intense. Because now my sanity actually was based on who he was. Who he was. I mean, you had to go back and find out, like, Lord, you know, what happened? I, I, <laughs> we, we, we were reshuffling in the deck, and he went on the bottom, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't, and, and, and that, 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 that was kind of a, you know, I praise God, but I'm able to testify that because I hope somebody else can benefit from it. It's yes, like, sir. there's some things that will happen in your life to totally disrupt all that you know of as being silent and real. Right, right. So you wake up in the morning with a person for 29 years, uh -huh. and that next morning you wake up and they ain't there no more. I want you to know something. That's the difference. That's the difference. And you know, Unless you got up in prayer every morning before, yeah. you're going to be moved. Right. And, 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 and you know, once again, though, is that that was what that foundation was temporary. It was a temporary. You see what I'm saying? It, it was temporary. It was temporary. But I didn't realize that until it happened, it was moved. We don't. You see what a, lot I'm of case, a lot of cases, we don't. Bishop, we don't. That's a, that was kind of remind me of that, that letter to the to Revelation, that first one, I guess, the Church of Smyrna. He said, Y'all, you forgot your first love. First love. And then you think about it, a lot of cases, I was looking at it from 
you know, a loving, you know, a loving condition, a, a relationship for Bishop. They really were saying is, you you forgot your wholeness. See, I, if if you your first love completes you, God is saying, you see, I'm saying is, I complete you, and if you forget that, then you lose who you are. Does that make sense? You, you are that man that built his house on sand. <laughs> you, see, you see, you can't modify Christ. Uh huh, uh huh. You can't bring something into Christ that God never ordained to be in Christ. In Christ. Come on now. Come on. You see, you see. A homosexual person distorts. I, I was just looking at the. I was just looking at something. Uh, making some note about God as the creator, and then His creation, the universe. Yes, sir. And all the things that are in it, and living creatures. Now, do you realize that everything in this earth that is living, that God created? And all of the things that are necessary to that life has a nature. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. You, you can't change that nature. Mm -hmm. well, you ain't supposed to be tampering with that nature. Come on, come on. That, that's the danger of getting inside a hybrid suit, an HMO and all that stuff. You start modifying uh -huh. God created. Now, man ain't got no problem with that. Man ain't got no problem with that. See, man ain't got no problem with 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 with, 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 with uh, modifying a dog on orange tree that uh -huh. I'm doing next to it. Yeah. 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 That's not so you tamper with stuff that God done created. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When a homosexual starts saying that that I a, a man, for example. Uh-huh. And I went back last week when we were looking at the letter, and I just went through all the places. I just looked at the word abomination. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That word is used throughout scripture. Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> but, but when a man starts to lie with another man. In the same way that he lies with a woman, uh huh. Begin to have intercourse with a woman. Mm -hmm. You see, for him to want to want to say that that is God ordained. Mm -hmm. That's basically what he said. He's basically saying is that God created me like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what he doesn't realize that nature will stand up and slap him in the face and say you are lying. Right. Because. You don't see horses, dog, elephant, sheep, goat. You don't see that with them. Hey, they tried to. They tried it with a penguin, I believe. Somebody did. <laughs> did y'all remember that one? <laughs> so, so naturally, you see. <laughs> Pretty funny. You remember what that they, one? <laughs> they fail to realize is that God, when he when, when he created natural things, he set in place something that he called natural law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But listen now. But even, even when natural law is there, a spiritual creature needs more than natural law. Yes, sir. That's why Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, they are, they are spirit. Spirit uh -huh. and life. They are life. And they Amen. are another kind of life. Yes, sir. The thing I'm talking me. about now ain't addressing the physiological aspect, the natural domain they call it yes sir. I, this, i've come to bring in a whole new domain domain that is intended to govern everything everything mm. yeah it does I, I, I was like, really is, is when you try to take that which is in the natural domain and try to make it help both the spiritual and the natural then you got a problem well you know i i, I was thinking about the fact that if you have to go back to because i some one of the, i had a conversation uh where it's talking about the the attractiveness they, they they're saying is they're dark that people do things because of what they're attracted to 
uh, a man is attracted to a woman, so therefore he 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 wants to link up with that person. And people who maybe uh, same sex is that they're saying I'm I'm attracted to this. And and but the point I guess I was saying there, but back to what the rat because I'm talking about how to be made whole is to recognize first of all, like I said, the the attractiveness in Smyrna. Church of Smyrna, I think that's the first church. When he said you lost your first love, if that means you lost your thirst, your 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 desire, your attractiveness toward him, God. Does that you see what I'm saying? It, or yeah. for Christ? Yeah. In other words, you you the, the real attraction, attraction anyway, attraction means to, to bring together, right? And 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 you just once you get to it, once you said again in discipleship, is the little person know I'm complete in him. Now everything else will line up as I learn who I am in him, not in people. You know what's really funny about that is that wow, it's, when he told the woman at the well, she he said, if you drink from this water, you'll never thirst again. Yes, sir. So yes. all she all she her desires and her needs her, you know, whatever it was that was in her that yeah, needed yeah. fulfilling, he was basically telling her, I'm it. I'm it. He, he tells us on the bread of life. He tells right. us he is life. Right. So these and these are uh, uh, concepts that we don't really communicate very well in, in our attempt to disciple. Yeah. Because we can look at a person and they say, I, I'm just like this, I'm depressed, I'm this, I got it. And you can look at them and say, you know what you need? You need Christ. You need Christ yeah. Jesus in your life. And he is the, the ultimate elixir. He is the fixed word all. Yeah. And because he brings so much to the table, he says, when, when he's in the mix, the healing is in the mix. Yeah. When he's in there, the restoration is in the mix, the, the, the deliverance is in the mix. When he's there, if we offer a him, person him, but aside from him, there ain't no fix. There's no fix. There, there's treatment. Yeah. There may be a temporary, you know, solace for for it to be a temporary solution, but it's, I mean, not solution, but just a, a, a band aid. Yeah. But it's not a fix. If you are, and, and, I, and I and I use the depression thing because we mentioned it at the beginning, uh, that's happens. That happens to people. I've been there. I've been hell, the present beyond measure. But it wasn't anything else that they I got aside from Christ that fixed me. The I mean. Sorrow beyond measure, but nothing could resolve the sorrow other than him. Other than so him. you could preach to me all kinds of therapy and all kinds of stuff that, 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 that try this, try this, try this. I wasn't healed, I wasn't, I wasn't restored, I wasn't regular, I wasn't happy, I wasn't in joy until I received the man. Exactly. I love what Bishop is to make whole. Yes. I mean discipleship, guys. I'm talking because can we talk about not only, you know, like I said, homosexuality, we're talking about uh, fornicators, adultery, whatever, is to say, look, you are whole. Discipleship is to say you are whole in him. You are who you are in him. Because I think even the question somebody said, if we talk about homosexuality, they, the person said, this is who I am. I'm made this way. But reality for any discipleship is for all of us to know that Brother Addison is not Brother Addison in himself, but only in Christ, he's whole. He's he's a whole creature. That's why that part when he said, be made whole, now I can address all these other things because these other things do not complete me. Christ, you know, you know completes me. There's, there, there's symptoms to a problem. Exactly. Every everything everything we're caught up in becomes a symptom to the problem that we're not one with God. We're not one with God. Yes, sir. Because he said, "Will thou be made whole?" Will you be difference. made whole? You be made that, one with God. That's a big, big thing. Woo. Made whole. Made. Yeah, whole. man. Made whole because we we go through this process. Yes, sir. Of these different grounds yes sir to be made whole yeah i testified that my life was that parable Woo! yes my, my life in christ was that parable uh -huh. i was I, I was every last one of those grounds at one point come on now and there's still areas yes sir that fall in those different categories yes sir yes, of sir. my life because 
there are things that I, I just have not given up completely right. in my life. Um, but thank God for his grace and his uh, mercy yes, and his love. Yes, sir. Um, I, I think about the, uh, I was looking at uh, Luke 13. Uh -huh. And this, 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 these words Jesus was speaking. Is that with the parable? What the parable one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In six, starting at six, he said he spake also this parable. He said a certain man had 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 a fig tree yes, planted in his vineyard. Yes, sir. And he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Now this, this was me. Though I was in the crime in, in church, this right. was me. That was this was me. <laughs> Which one was that? <laughs> Matthew. Start in verse Matthew. I mean Luke. Luke thirteen. Oh, Luke. Okay. Start in verse six. So so he goes on to say in, in seven. Then said he unto the dresser of the of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit. On this fig tree, yes, sir. And find none. Cut it down. <laughs> why come with it? The the ground. So, you know, and, and and this is why I'm so grateful to God for for His mercy, for His grace. Yes. Because I know there's been times that He He's come to me looking for I know without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, you know, and there, and there was times that that I, I the fruit that he was looking for, I was like that fruit that that tree that fig tree that he cursed. <laughs> but, but by the grace of God, this is what what the uh, the guy said, the tender of the vineyard. He said, and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this uh -huh. year also. Uh huh. Till I shall dig about it uh -huh. and dung it. Put some fertilizer on it. And if it bear fruit, uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. And if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. Yes, sir. So I also, in reading that, was thinking about the homosexual. Okay, okay, okay. And this really applies. Uh huh, uh huh. Because outside of Christ, they can't see past the lust of the flesh. Come on, yeah, man, preach. So, in in being that way, there is a love that's shown toward them by God through Christ, which drew them into this lifestyle in the beginning. Yeah, I was. But they have lost yeah. their first love. Yeah, or they never had not, it. <laughs> you know, and so they don't shift from stony ground right especially in that area of their life so yeah. every time a seed is sown immediately satan comes and takes it away come on now come on and and, and that applies to that applies to all right like the, the gigolo uh the the man cheap everybody stuff. yeah that, that, in other words that, that's across the board right even if people is greedy for money because you know i, I was I, what come to my mind earlier you guys was that uh and capitalism and people talk about i know you heard it before they call it the american dream anybody heard that the yeah. american dream yeah and and in most cases they associate that with wealth financial independence come on now the financial american, independence is the american dream they, so so in other words that that becomes like a that can e once again a desire to think it will complete you yeah until you get there, because all you have to do is look at the ones who are there, and they're not complete. They killing themselves. Exactly. You you yeah. it, you, you <laughs> run behind females. You run behind drugs. I'm talking about all of us. It, it's yeah. what you tell you come to the reality is that none of this stuff in this world completes you. People have right. killed people. People yes. kill people from drugs. People kill people because of position. People kill people for, you know, for all kinds of things, thinking that right. completes them. Yep. 
And that, and the, those are lies of Satan. That's the the, the devil deceiving you. The deceit. You can be, be, be satisfied with this here big car. This this the guy's a wife. Woo. Or this position in the shop. You know what I mean? In, in the job. Yeah. It's exactly. gonna make you whole. Exactly. You're gonna be happy once you get this. Once you exactly. You just you can, jacked up as you were before. Yeah. Or, or, or worse case, right? Sometimes even worse yeah. case, right? Yeah, worse. <laughs> Uh, and I, you know, that's why I think Bishop, the the temptation of Christ. I'm gonna let me get off the screen first. The temptation, that last one, when that devil said, "All this has been given to me, all this this glory. Oh, look, look, all oh, look, I'm gonna give you. All your Bishop, all you gotta do is, oh, you'll be complete if you get this, and just have to bow down to me." Just back down to me. I give you all this glory. And I wonder how much are people drawn away for what they think is glory. So can, can I ask a question? I know I know one y'all y'all all three y'all probably have the answer to. On that when 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 that temptation yeah. of, of Christ, that last one. Yeah. Did Jesus? He, I know he quoted scripture. He did. But did he rebuke Satan at that point? That that was the last one. He rebuked. That was he, he rebuked him. So <laughs> he allowed he allowed that the the spirit within him allowed him to to be tempted all <laughs> that time, <laughs> right? And, and it was like when it got to that, <laughs> he was like, "Okay, well, the break, the, the brakes is off." <laughs> you, know, go, you, go got go. you know, uh, you got to go. You got to go. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But, Woo! But the, the amazing thing is, we're we're stuck at the tree oh. of good and evil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we are tempted by what we see. And what did Eve say? He said, get behind me, sir. No, Eve oh, said. Oh, Eve. Eve, yeah. yeah. He it's, said, it's and it, it, it is something to be desired by. Right. He yeah, added exactly. on to. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the flesh is desiring things that are not of God. And we eat that fruit. <laughs> we do. Well, I mean, what, what, what? I, let's look at it. Let's look at it even better on that. I agree with you. That's totally agreement. But I like. Let's look at his response. Is because what that thing was asking him to do was to say, "You'll be complete in this." And yeah. Jesus said, "Look, man. Look, you telling me to fall down and worship you? Let me tell you something. Get behind me, say, for it's written, Thou shalt worship." The Lord thy God and Him Amen. thou shalt serve. Why? I think we that's the answer, Bishop, what you were saying earlier, because He makes me whole. Nothing yes. that you are presenting to me will make me whole. I can't get up, you know, like you take up a home and say, This is how God made me. No, you need to understand. We all were made in sin. Shaping in inequity. We all were born as, as, as condemned be people. Well, I'm not gonna get complete in this world by by sex, money, position, power. It does not complete me. I am not who I am unless I have him. And I think Prophet Bishop, that's the discipleship you're talking about, is we got to understand who I am in Christ. Amen. And, 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 and we have to you go know, through the, those phases that bring us to the re, re, recognition too. Yeah. So to me, I mean, discipling a person is like walking with them through the, the steps that those four stages of, of, of art. Uh -huh. anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and I mean, walking with them through it because oh, and, you're going to talk to people that really don't get it. And, 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 and it's, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I need a car. Yeah. I, I, I need a house. I need this. Show me yeah. how to get this. We got stuck in the cardinal state yeah. because the lead, we as leaders may never have had or lost sight of 
where this thing was really going. You know, the funny thing about it was when Shay was offering Jesus all of this stuff, Jesus already knew this stuff was slated for destruction. Right. So it's like it's like you offered me garbage, and I think we talked about that before. You exactly. offered me, come on, brother. This stuff is already you. I don't want that. It's, <laughs> it's temporal. It's, it's, it's temporal. temporal. It's temporal. You know, he was offering him a temple, a temple, whatever, a temple, everything, and that's where we are at. As, as far as our, our we, we know it's temple because we've grown to that point. We've gone through some things in life that said this is going to be moved. This is going to go away. You, you, it's going to go away. Yeah. But people who have not grown, a child, a 20 year old is not going to see like there's a 40 year old oh. or a 60 year old or 80 oh. year old because oh. they haven't gone through those things that tell them tomorrow you might not wake up oh. or tomorrow your spouse may not wake up. Or tomorrow you're going to be diagnosed with cancer. Or tomorrow you're going to be, you know, they haven't experienced those things yet, so they don't factor in as they reason or reckon. Wow. And we have to walk with them through those stages. Why am I asking for it? And I, and I told the truth, you know, that just is saved. Are you saved? And my question was, saved from what? You know, what am I being saved from? I don't even know what you're talking about. That didn't make sense to me. Am yeah, I saved? Right. He and, 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 what did that mean? So Woo. now we gotta walk a little further. You know? Exactly. <laughs> you know? exactly. Because at some point it really was important that I get the stuff. Right. To me, you know. But you know my... what? It, there, there's, there's very few times <laughs> in my interaction that I had to ask somebody, "Are you saying?" You know, the spirit bear witness. Yes, sir. When you, when you're dealing with a person one on one in an environment for that question to even be asked. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so uh, there is a drawing that's rooted in love for that person. Uh -huh. And in a lack of words, you're making love to that person in that moment that will draw them mm -hmm. into Christ. And when they reject that, then they're rejecting Christ. And that is their, their moment. That is the fullness of time uh -huh. for that person, for, okay. for some people in those particular instances. Now, there's times where this seed is sown and it's just on stony ground and they just don't have the capability of receiving it because of the position of their heart. Their heart. But right. there is a time right. when faith is present for them to receive it. Mm -hmm. And that faith is coming from the word that is given to them. And they have to either believe it or reject it. Now, now, you know, the uh, the thing on that, on did they not receive it? They just, they couldn't, they couldn't get root. They couldn't take root. And, and well, I, you know, there's been there's there's times when you you know well I know for me, there's there's been some conversations people can talk to me, and I hear what they're saying, but I ain't, I'm so uninterested. Oh, that, so dumb, yeah. It 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 does not, for lack of different words, take right. root. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Right. It yeah. doesn't even register in my brain, yeah. and and unconsciously I'm like mm-hmm and. To get uh, past that moment, yes. so uh, it is. It is. There is no attraction. There is nothing fruitful in that conversation. I'm just stuck in that moment, trying to be polite and allow this person to finish saying what they're saying, so I can move on. So the the information that's coming in, sometimes I hear without hearing, like the scriptures say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 